Alright guys, welcome back to the channel and the latest DLC previews ahead of the final DLC pack for WWE 2K22 where today we have two brand new entrances to show off, one of which includes the debut of WWE's AR graphics plus we're also going to be talking about some of the problems that are showing up in the previews as a lot of people are starting to pick up on some small issues. Before we get to any of that though, if you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with all the latest news on WWE 2K22, please do hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss out on future videos. So let's jump straight into today's first preview of the Hold Down Pack DLC update for WWE 2K22. As hot on the heels of the RVD entrance that was released yesterday, 2K followed up that late last night with a reveal of MGK's entrance. Check it out. So that's our first look at MGK in WWE 2K22, we can see that he's sporting the same outfit that we've seen him wear for the game's trailer. Now I know there's a lot of people that have already said MGK is the person that they'll use the least and that they'd have preferred to see someone else, but all that aside, I don't think you can really knock this entrance, 2K have done a great job putting this together, the entrance looks great, the character model looks great, the only question mark will come in regards to his moveset where it'll be interesting to see what kind of moves he actually gets. Before we move on to the next preview, I do want to quickly jump back to yesterday's reveal of RVD, as following the reveal, 2K confirmed that the attire used for Rob is indeed a custom attire that was created for the game, though it is based on one that he wore, minus the RVD text on the front, or one of his signature dragons. While 2K didn't go into detail about the reasons for the custom attire, it's assumed that it's down to the copyright as Rob's designer Joe Holland, who also did the designs for Ryback singlets, actually owns the copyright to the designs, therefore if 2K were to include them, they would have to pay him some royalties. Considering RVD is a paid DLC character, personally I think every effort should have been made to make him look as authentic as possible as it does feel a little bit lazy seeing paid DLC not feature the proper attire, but on the other hand, thanks to community creations, we already know that there's going to be a ton of RVD outfits uploaded as soon as the DLC drops, so players will at least be able to download their favourite RVD attires that way. Now aside from the outfit, the other big complaint comes in regards to the timing of the announcer, as you may have noticed the timing of Greg Hamilton announcing RVD doesn't actually line up with Rob's motions, which is just a small detail and one that a lot of people won't be bothered about, but it's little things like that that seem to happen quite often this year as there's a lot of small details that have gone unchecked. Moving on, let's switch over to the latest entrance preview, as earlier today WWE Games dropped another new entrance, this time revealing Smackdown star Zia Lee. Now the interesting thing about this entrance is that as you'll see in a second, this entrance is the first in the game to use the augmented reality graphics that WWE use on TV. Check it out.
So there you go, that's our first look at Zia Lee in Dota 2K22 with this version of Zaya based on the Protector persona that we've seen for her debut on SmackDown in which she debuted these AR graphics that we see during the entrance. The addition of the AR graphics should now set a precedent where we start to see more of these graphics included in 2K23 where you can expect to see the likes of the Roman Reigns statue at the beginning of his entrance or perhaps the giant Lily doll for Alexa. Getting back to Zaya, the attire that we see her with is actually the blue version of the attire that she wore on SmackDown rather than the green version that's shown in the render, though the attire itself looks great as does the model which is just another sign of how well the scanning tech is progressing as all the new models for the current stars are looking better than ever. So those are the latest DLC previews that we have for WWE 2K22 The Whole Damn Pack with Zia Lee and MGK but stay tuned to the channel for more previews tomorrow ahead of the official DLC release on Tuesday. Until then though, let me know what you think of the new entrance videos in the comments, subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications for more, have yourself an awesome day and I'll catch you later.